Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 19th, 2020. Thank you for joining me. And today in our usually daily news, I say, um, before we get this your stimulus update, we have uh, J.C. Penney's is closing down 15 of the stores after the bankruptcy ends, with eight of these stores being in Indiana. And plus... Mitch McConnell says he's planning to keep the Senate in session until a COVID relief package is passed. And as you notice, our government has not shut down yet because they have given themselves a two-day stopgap, which ends at midnight tomorrow. So we will find out what happens tomorrow if they pass a stimulus package with a government funding bill. And when that happens, I will be sure to let you guys know. But on other news, we have Russia basically has not uh, uh, said that they've done the cyber attack. In fact, they said they have not. They were not the ones who did it. Even though people suspect that they are clearly the ones who have done a cyber attack against the United States. And with our good old President Donald Trump being silent on this whole cyber attack thing, the response from the United States may have to come from President-elect Joe Biden. And Basically, this, this is not a good thing here. We, we have 275,000 prison inmates with COVID, that have been tested COVID for 19 with 1,700 deaths. Housing Group warns of a ca catastrophic wave of evictions unless Congress can pass another evictions ban. And Trump also wants a special prosecutor for Hunter Biden. What President Trump does not realize is he should not worry about other people. He should more worry about what's going to happen to him when he gets moved from office. This is the one reason why he's trying to start all this stuff is because when he gets moved from office, his debt collector is going to come after him. The law is going to go after him and he's going to be screwed. And he knows this. That's why he's trying to overthrow the election results. This may not be proven, but I bet you it's fact. But... Without any further ado, let me let's hop on to our wonderful stimulus package update. Although today has been disappointing, but not surprising to find out that the government has not passed a st the stimulus bill yet, or the government funding bill yet, but they have given themselves a two-day stopgap, which means they have until midnight tomorrow to pass those two bills. Although we have, let's see here, the stop gap passed through the House and the Senate, and actually was passed and was signed into law by the President of the United States yesterday, a little after 10 p.m. Eastern Time. So it looks like we're not going to be getting closed down. Ooh, wow. Some people actually might not like that idea. Something that they're trying to get done is to basically pass all this stuff because they have, like, I think they're actually just dragging their uh, feet. On this whole thing, because yesterday before they passed the um, CR, as if you remember correctly, a week ago we heard Bernie Sanders says that he would not um, block the one week stopgap, but the next one he would. Well, Bernie Sanders caved. He did not block the stopgap at all, and what is sort of surprising. We figure you know he'd do something, but you never know. He actually might try to do something if they try to do another stopgap by midnight tomorrow. We're hoping we, we. The funny thing is, is all the senators and all the House representatives saw this big old drop off coming off coming down months ago, of uh, the eviction inventory expiring, the PUA having problems, the PPP, and all these other stuff that came from the CARES Act. They saw this coming down months ago and all they did was sat on their feet this whole sorry, sat on their hands this whole time and did nothing so it's not a surprise to me that basically they gave themselves a stopgap and they're probably not going to pass anything tomorrow at all and they're going to have to do themselves another stopgap method for a few more days which is going to eat into their nice vacation because they're due back in office next year in january 1st i believe so the longer they stall, the less time they have off, which means they're actually getting made for, paid for doing their job. Isn't that a good thing? 
And yesterday, before they actually passed the CR bill, the continued resolutions bill, basically, we had Senators Josh Hawley and Bernie Sanders basically saying that they want $1,200 stimulus checks inside the stimulus package. Unfortunately, Senator Ron um, Johnson, Republican Senator Ron Johnson, blocked this notion twice. But we also know that if he wouldn't have blocked it, other Republicans probably would have. Basically, um, and Josh Hawley has basically expressed that he was in, he was in the dark on this whole stimulus package. In fact, him as well as many other um, minority Republicans and Democrats, or should I say, lower rank Republican Democrats in the House and Senate, know nothing about this bill that's being proposed by the the, the um, leaders of the Republicans and the Democrats because they've been doing all this stuff behind closed bars. And yet they're expected to vote on this on a moment's notice without knowing what's inside this bill. So unless all these lower ranking senators and House representatives are speed readers, they're not going to be able to get a sped read in fast enough time. Because it could be anywhere from 100 pages to thousands of pages. And no one except for the leaders of the Senate and the House know what's inside this bill. Everyone else, including me, is in the dark. We're guessing that there's six or seven dollars stimulus checks in it. We do not know yet. We're guessing that there is extended unemployment for either 16, 12, or 10 weeks. We're also guessing there's also $300 additional on, this, on the unemployment. We don't know this yet. And we're guessing eviction moratorium until the end of January. Not positive. Because these are all this stuff that's been leaked out by Politico and other reliable media sources so we will find out tomorrow if they've passed the bill and if they have what exactly is in this bill for the american people but until next time you guys have a wonderful evening and i will broadcast into you guys tomorrow or the next day and until then you guys have a wonderful night bye <music>